Hi friends, this is Nora. Thank you so much if you are returning and thank you so much if this is your first time. Welcome. So I have in front of me the VDS Vanderspeck Janet Leather Brown. Um, I had a friend over on Instagram ask me to kind of like talk about it and go over it and kind of give my thoughts on it. Okay, so um, previously I did a video on an unboxing of my Stardust, my Crocodile Stardust here. And, um, I brought it here just to like, for comparison, I also have my Gilio, my Epicolotus Gilio. So these two, I would say are my signature colors. You would say for each of the lines is for VDS is for Gilio. I did venture out and purchase this beautiful Janet leather, which I'm going to tell you about right now. I'm just having it hold, um, extra inserts and dividers in there. I am currently in my um, Stardust at the moment, and I also have extra dividers and whatnot in the Lotus. So these are like this right now. These two are my placeholders. This was my main one. Okay, so um, I brought them just to kind of show you like the color of them and whatnot, just kind of all next to each other. So I do want to talk about the leather first. So um, before I go into the uh, the details of what I think of it, I'll tell you that from what I've gathered, Janet leather is a very thick, firm, natural um, grain leather, which is very smooth and it has some pebbly parts. Um, I personally think it's got a beautiful, delicious little smell. It has definitely some rich leather, which is why I wanted to get my hands on one just out of curiosity. Um, it's really soft to me to the, to the touch. It is a cowhide from Tuscany, Italy. Um, I will tell you that it does cost 10% more due to the special tanning process that it goes through. It was originally um, number 104. Okay, that's what it was known as. But now, of course, we know it as a Janet Leather Brown. Now, I will tell you the leather, and if you kind of saw... I'll put her up close here. The leather is sensitive, okay? It's sensitive to water and dirt, mostly because it doesn't have any finish. It's just an, pretty much an open structure. That's how it's um defined as. Um, the leather also will change in general and it gets some patina. Um, for Janet Leather, there's many other ones you can get, such as in the undyed and velvet sand, just to name two of them. Okay, so let me go into her. Now, first I'll tell you a little bit um, about the backstory of her i had a friend on instagram that put her up for sale and i of course had to grab it immediately i bought it okay so um depending on what customizations this could go really high easily over 400 dollars. but this beauty uh, did not cost me that much i am i believe either the second or the third owner i want to say i'm the third owner to this beauty okay um so i just want to tell you in general okay so it is a silver ring and i'm normally not a silver person but i like i said i had to get my hands on this beauty okay this is a standard size so it's a personal size so real quick i'm just going to put her next to like the lotus just so you can kind of see um if possible but because it is a standard in general the Gilio planners do tend to be a little bit more narrow and especially with the different customizations that you can get for um from bds whereas Gilio, you cannot get any customization so whatever you get is what you get i'm going to put her also i'm going to line her up i should say next to the stardust which this one um uh, the stardust if you saw my previous video it was a uh, from the touch me collection from the ready to ship okay so i think in general the stardust will have just a little bit extra leather in general it's a little bit more floppy um in comparison to the janet leather so as i open her i will now i did since i did not make a custom order of this i don't have the specifics okay so before i go into her i want to tell you some of the things you can get to your you can do i'm sorry some of the customizations you can do and select once you get on the vander spec um, website so for example um you can get a stiffener which means there's gonna be a carton inside okay and you have to decide yes or no if you want that you can have a pen loop and as i'm just going to briefly mention all these things and then show you what i believe this beauty has you can also get a big back pocket which i can tell you that will give you that extra room that extra skin so beware if you want something more portable um or not more portable like not as chunky we'll say then do not get the back pocket you can get a fly leaf a secretarial flap um you can also get any kind of zipper compartments added um depending you can do that um extra pen loop or no pen loop um ring protectors a long clasp or a chunky clasp squared corners and um there's different pocket configurations you can do and you can widen the planner as well 
Okay, so let me open her up so I can show you some of those details in this planner. So as you can see, it does have one pen loop. The popper is silver, which is perfect because it matches the silver rings. This mechanism is 30 millimeters, just to let you know. I do have one secretarial pocket here on the side. Um, this is a pocket configuration it came with. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to say one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And then this little pocket here. Um, this is like an older one. I will tell you with a tag because if you see this one, which is the newer one, you get a black or brown. I like the black person. I like that type of finish. And as you can see, this is probably an older model. I don't have all the specifics of this. I'm a lot of things I'm just telling you are really going to be based upon my impression. So uh, it does have a secretarial pocket, like I said here. And I found it kind of tricky to put things in the pockets personally because they were so small. Um, now, this was a ready to ship, you know, so it doesn't have all those pockets. But I was okay with this because I can just put something like this, very minimal. Um, you don't have to put any of the anything in the pockets. Um, now, here, this ready to ship already had a zipper here. So you did, that was not added on to here. At the moment, um, the Janet Leather is not a ready to ship. So you definitely have to customize it. Um, this one did have a little um, secretarial pocket, but just like this one, you also get this other pocket in here, which is really nice, which, which this one does not have. Okay, so like I said, it is 30 millimeters, um, the ring size silver. Let me go over to the back here. So on this back side, uh, it does not have a secretarial pocket. It just has these other pockets, one here, and then this larger one. Now with this ready to ship in the Stardust, this one did come with a couple of pockets in the back. Um, so you do get a couple of those, one, two, three, four. Um, and this one, uh, I did order an extra fly leaf. Um, this Janet Leather did not come with a fly leaf. And also, I hope you can see, I can open her up. This one has the big back pocket, which I think if I were to customize something, because this one's not um, customized, I would not get the big back pocket once I don't use it to, um, you know, I just don't really care for all that extra stress, uh, skin because I love this and I wanted it right away. Of course, I took it as it is, but this one does not have it. So I love it because it makes it quite slim. This Janet Leather does not have the big back pocket. It also did not come with a fly leaf. Um, in the back, you do not see a secretarial flap or any other zipper compartments or anything like that. It's just one pen loop. So that's something um kind of keep in mind. I'm assuming these are more, these were probably more of the basic um customizations that were made. But really, I mean, this is really all you need. Um, if you see the stitching, um, it's let me get you a little closer to her. I believe that might even be the Janet Leather itself stitching in that color because I think it matches really well, which I thought that was very um tastefully done personally. Okay, as you can see, there is some patina to her. Um, definitely some little love marks. This is, this is um, from the rings, of course. Um, let me show you the back of her. She's absolutely beautiful. She feels so wonderful to the touch. She's very soft. Um, but as you can see, there's some little love marks already, little love bumps, you know, from use and whatnot. So um, honestly, I, I have been quite nervous. At first, I was very scared to even touch her and hold her and everything. Um, I started to kind of go slow into it. I have owned a VDS Velvet Sand, which is another one of the Janet Leathers and... Uh, luckily not nothing ever happened to it I did sell that one because sometimes I will be very transparent with you I love to see the leather so sometimes I will buy planners honestly just to kind of look at them and touch them and now I'm happy that I'm recording this so then I can have like some kind of documentation of some of the planners that I've gone through that have gone through my hands so um other things here as you saw um I'm, I'm assuming this might be somewhat of a standard pocket configuration but don't quote me on that particular part um, I do not believe this planner was widened. Now that I explained some of those um, customizations you can do, it's a little bit slightly wider than the Gilio, but Gilio tends to be quite slim regardless. So, so kind of keep that in mind. Even with the Gilio having this big back pocket in the back here, it's not going to be a very chunky um, planner or very wide, okay? So kind of keep that in mind. Just in case you're watching this, either just to check out this leather or since I brought in some other planners, you can kind of do a little mini comparison. This is not a very in-depth comparison though, okay? So um, if you look at just the clasp here, now this is, I would say, the more traditional. So I don't think this is the chunky one right here because it's comparable to the one for Gilio. Um, Gilio will have a um, silver popper no matter what, even if you get the gold rings like I have right here. But in this case, um, that's another thing you can do is make sure you can 
uh, that's another thing I believe you can do for customizations is have the the popper match the ring color as well. Um, this one is ready to ship. So it just came with the silver, even though I got the gold rings. Okay, so um, now for me, like I said, I love the smell. I love the touch of it. Uh, I did sell my velvet sand because ugh, it was just a little bit too fragile. And the friend that I sold it to right away got something on it. Like within the same day she received it, she had a big old mark on it. Okay, um, that just happens. It was because of water from her water bottle. And uh, for me, I think I've kept this one intact since the day I received it. But I'm trying to get you a close up so you can see you have to be someone who's going to love the love marks and the patina so if you're not that person um i do not recommend the, i had to say the janet leather brown but if you're okay with something like this you could probably see this is probably somebody's um you know thumb mark here i didn't i did not do this this came like that but um you can see that that's probably another water some kind of water mark you know um now as far as this when i received it i've left it like meaning you can do you can spray them and do different things to protect the leather i haven't done anything to it okay with apple guard i did not do anything to it now if you follow me on instagram you saw me posting this beauty however this beauty um is in the process of leaving me i did decide not to keep her so if you follow me on Instagram and all of a sudden you stop watching, like seeing her on my feed, it is because I did sell her. So I am doing this video right before she leaves me because she is a beauty. But honestly, I have children. I'm on the go. I need something that is not going to be a leather that I need a baby as much. Okay. Um, even right now, I kind of feel like I have her out in the wild, you know, and I'm excited to take all the things I have in here and put her back in her box and ship her away. Um, just because I, I'm nervous, just like when I had the velvet sand, I wanted to sell it because of the same reasons I just stated with my children, things are really on the go with me. Now, I will say though, when looking at something like a stardust, this is this, this type of leather, isn't you it's not one you have to baby honestly this is this is a really nice leather i when i received the stardust and i don't remember if i said this in my first video for some reason there was a watermark i know it had been snowing and i think somehow i heard that sometimes um over in customs they'll open things up i don't know if somehow that got wet since then or maybe when i was opening her up it was wet i don't know what happened all i know is that the watermark was here and there's nothing there Okay, so I just want you to kind of take that into account, you know, since I she'll pick up if you just notice I was kind of um, removing little things so she will pick up she's so velvety she'll pick up little particles tiny ones that then you just kind of you know like a little uh, lint or something she'll pick that up. So personally, I am staying with my stardust. I'm going to keep her and as you know, I this beauty has sold. This is the last time that you will see her in my possession and on my feed. She will no longer be on my feed over at Dr. Underscore Alva Plans. But I'm happy to give her, you know, like, oh, uh, give her a video just to herself and just to reminisce on that. Uh, now, because this does not have a back pocket, though, I'll do the comparison back here. Now, I like this, like the Stardust looks fine, but if you let her go, like see how floppy she is? And partly it's because she's got that. Whereas the Janet Leather Brown is definitely much more sturdy, you know? It's just a different, this is, we're talking about a crockle here. So this is a very different um, leather here, you know, and the way it's treated as well. I'll do a comparison with this one though. As you can see, now don't forget this is 30 millimeter rings right here. Um, these, I believe, are 25 in here, so that will make a difference in the spine. I thought she was perfect. Like, she, even though she's in 30 millimeter rings, I really enjoy that part. And um, I was happy to have her and own her for a little bit. Um, I will be, like I said, transparent. I, It's a hobby for me. I'll buy them. I'll look at them. If I want to keep them, I'll keep them. And if not, then I'll sell them. But um, for example, I'm not selling my Lotus or my Stardust because these are like my staples from each other brand. This one, I really just wanted to get an up close look at it. Um, and anyhow, I feel it's a beauty. Again, if you are okay with love marks, get her. She's worth it. She's totally worth it. Um, she smells amazing. Like I said, she is going to be durable. And um, as you can see, I'm not the first owner to this. Uh, this has been passed down probably two owners before me. I believe I am the third one. And she still is beautiful. Like the color of it, everything about her is just absolutely beautiful. But for me, 
I'm going to stick with these two <laughs> that I, I know these are my um, true and tried ones. But anyhow, guys, thank you so much. I didn't want to make this a long video or anything. Um, I'll just do one last kind of flip of her more for me to hold these memories in my mind or in this video here before she leaves. Right now, I'm just using her as storage. So there she goes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate this so much. I hope you can see the color of her, the true coloring of her. I'll put her next to like her box so you can kind of see that contrast here. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.